What's up, everybody in Internet land, Facebook world? This is Steve Olive, Bearded Badger here. What's up? Warm outside. Um, 86 degrees, which is awesome. Not complaining, I prefer summer to winter. But, uh, yeah, whatever, love all the seasons. Anyways, man, I just wanted to say how incredibly grateful I am because my wonderful wife, Heidi Lacey Olive, has a new kidney in her body. And I just want to say, give a shout out to everybody at University of Tennessee Medical, best hospital we've ever been in, best staff ever worked with, um, the nurses, the care, uh, the surgeon was just an absolute rock star, um, humble, which is a rare quality as a surgeon, oh, I just dropped the part off, you know, when I told him thank you for basically doing a, a life-changing, life-saving surgery, he just acted like, you know, he was a postal carrier and gave me a letter or something. Um, anyways, it went phenomenal, the surgery, which I posted, it went well on Facebook, but, um, uh, I mean, it probably got done in maybe half the normal time, it just went really quick, really, really well, no hiccups, um, her body is doing amazingly well, she's producing urine, they have a catheter in, um, they're gonna take it out today, um, she's walked around a couple times, probably about a thousand feet each time, um, sat up in bed for a couple hours, which just comparatively, um, uh, for those who don't know, for you on here who don't know, Heidi had um, her first kidney. Her dad gave her a kidney when she was 16 years old. And so now she's 33, 17 years later. So a lot of advancements have happened in almost, uh, you know, 20 years, obviously. Um, so less of the rejection meds is having to be taken as far as, like, the amount. Um, still, of course, meds, so the body um, immune system doesn't reject it and whatnot. Um, you know, anybody who doesn't have, you know, kidney failure or know anything about dialysis, that probably won't be that interesting to you. But anyways, it's gotten better for the patient. I'll just put it that way. Um, and so, but probably, I'm not going to be right about this. Maybe four years ago, I mean, me and Heidi have been married eight years. Actually, this coming Wednesday is our anniversary. Um, and this is a wonderful anniversary present to us, better than anything. And, uh, you know, I'll go to work and come home and we'll just, whatever relax in bed um obviously because she'll be recovering but trust me it's not a you know, negative that we can't go out and do something fancy for the anniversary i'd rather have her um have a new kidney uh than anything so huge blessing um felt like kind of a surprise because uh we were on the list number one on the list in ohio at the transplant center there for almost six years um we had a couple you know false calls or whatever that yeah, you got a kidney, now you don't, whatever. Um, so when we came to Tennessee, um, we just finished, we probably lived here maybe nine months or whatever, but we just finished um, like all the tests or whatever, literally probably a few days ago before we got the call. Like, um, And there's like, you know, two weeks of different tests. You have to go through all this stuff to transfer to another hospital slash university kidney place. And so it wasn't even... They didn't even call and say, you're officially on the list. They called um, one night and just said, be ready tomorrow morning. We have this donor um, that's basically bred, brain dead, but all his parts are healthy. His or her, I don't even know if it's a male or female. Um, I just know it was a 19-year-old uh, healthy person. Otherwise, I don't know any other information. Um, but they were a donor, and they said, you know, be ready. You're number two on the list. And we just were like, okay, you know, but, you know, they'll call you in the morning possibly, you know if it's a go or whatever. And it was, you know, I mean, after you've been on this for so long, it's like, we kind of really didn't take it seriously, to be honest. And uh, anyways, I went to work like I normally do, left at six, I started work at seven. First break was at nine o'clock. And actually it was, was going to be in a couple hours, Heidi's first day getting a job at this uh, coffee shop slash little restaurant. Um, and her shift started at 10, but she had dropped me off and she got a call at nine o'clock, said, come on in. Um, and so, I was just finishing my 9 o'clock break. It was like 9, 10, got the call. You know, of course, went and told my boss or whatever what was going on. She came and picked me up. We went down there. And they said, you know, uh, they started doing blood work and everything on her. And they said, we won't know 100%, um, you know, and everything's going to match up until maybe around 5 o'clock or whatever. So we hung out for about, you know, 6 hours. And it was 6.30 and we still hadn't heard anything. So we thought, oh, yeah, it's probably, you know, whatever, not a match. And we'll just end up going home or whatever. 
And uh, they just rolled in at 6.30 and said, everything's a go. And he had a mask on and everything, put a catheter in her neck. And like 10 minutes later, they were being wheeled off the, uh, you know, to the operating room. I was just kind of like, whoa, you know. So, I mean, seemingly it happened really, really fast. Although the wait has been almost like seven years of her being on dialysis. So in our eight years of marriage, um, only eight months has been um, of her not being on dialysis the first eight months. Um, so it's... Anybody who doesn't know anything about dialysis, like, I definitely wouldn't wish it on anybody. Um, it's not an easy thing to go through. Um, but I'll say Heidi is super strong and always positive. And, but this is a huge life change. So um, just simple things a lot of people take for granted, like certain types of foods that are high in phosphorus that she couldn't eat on dialysis because your kidneys, like she loves avocados, but you couldn't really have avocados because it's high in phosphorus. Same with bananas. Simple things like that. So... Um, you know, just not being able to basically have any urine output ever. I mean, most people never know what that's like, thankfully. I'm glad you wouldn't. Um, being able to have energy, uh, for me as her husband, not having to do dialysis four times a week for like four hours, not having to stick my wife, um, with needles in her arm, you know, uh, cause I never, never enjoyed that. But according to her, I was, um, very good at it and much more gentler than the people um, at the dialysis center when she did treatment. So anything to, you know, limit my wife's um, pain, I'm going to do, you know. So anyway, it's super excited, super grateful. Um, she's doing amazing. They're actually going to let us go tomorrow, they said, after some physical therapy. They're going to have their practice uh, for the first time, walking up and down some stairs. But I will say the difference, like, you know, I was not looking forward to this as her husband because when she got her dad's kidney that failed, um, taken out just a few years ago. Um, I mean, the recovery was brutal, you know what I mean? And I think we might've been in the hospital for like six or seven days. And I mean, she was in a pain a lot, you know what I mean? To the point of just like moaning and just in constant pain. I mean, here they, you know, and Heidi doesn't like pain meds, you know? So a lot of people might try to lie for pain meds or whatever. She is not going to take it unless she's in extreme pain. I've seen her sent home with a whole bottle of pain pills month supply and her take one dose and leave the rest you know what I mean because she just doesn't like the pills um but anyways they have been amazing as far as just keeping her pain tolerance low so it's been so minimal she's recovered so much more quickly it's been such a relief for me personally um as her husband just not to see her in the crazy amount of pain sure it has a lot to do with the amazing surgeon who probably did smaller incision and just amazing at his job as well um, the staff responds very quickly, very caring, um, just giving her what he need, what she needs. So, yeah, it's been an awesome, wonderful blessing all around, amazing experience. Uh, we go home Saturday, Monday, we get to call, you know, the dialysis people and say, come get this machine, you know, come take these dialysis boxes. You know, we got probably like 20 on the porch, you know, and just be done with that. It's, you know, I imagine it would be something similar to getting out of prison feeling for Heidi, you know. Um, amazing. And you know what? I never looked at it, you know, as me suffering or any of that crap. Um, I was happy to do it, you know, anything I can to help out my wife. And I always will be happy to do anything I can to help out my wife. And I never looked at it as some burden or taking away my freedom or any of that stuff that somebody might think. Um, I looked at it as a privilege that I could help her out in any way, you know, and that's just the way I look at it. Um, but of course I'm excited that she doesn't have to go through that. And it's going to be great, you know, that we don't have to give 16 hours um, a week, you know, out of our life to that anymore. So awesome. Yeah. Super excited, super happy going home tomorrow. Um, yeah. A whole new lease on life. Life is really good. Um, Heidi's sister, Noelle, has been wonderful. She is helping me out tremendously because I go back to work on Monday. Thankfully, I was at the plant that I work at and make toilet parts. They were already going to be shut down this whole week, and I was just working only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and some of that was going to be cleaning, so nobody was working Thursday and Friday, which I had Tuesdays when she got the plant transplant. But So I didn't have to miss four days of work, um, only like a day and a half. So that was awesome, perfect timing. I go back to work Monday, so it was, you know, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So um, her sister, Noelle, has been so nice, and she's, you know, arranging a schedule of uh, wonderful people who are coming to help Heidi out because she has appointments twice a week, and it's an hour to Knoxville to these appointments. 
Um, and obviously they're in between the time frame of 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So none of them I could take her with. So, um, yeah, it's super amazing, super beneficial. Um, thank you, all you wonderful people who are coming. Her mom's coming, I think, in a couple weeks, in August sometime for two weeks. Um, uh, our friend Jill is coming, which is Noelle's uh, husband's mom and her mom. Um, a bunch of people. Uh, yeah. So anyways, thank you to absolutely everybody. I'll forget, but you know, I mean, I haven't really slept much. Not that I'm complaining. Um, you know, it's a chair that I'm in now in, in a smaller room, but still awesome. Um, that's okay. I don't care. I wouldn't sleep for freaking five days or, you know, a month. It'd be worth it, um, for her to get a kidney. So anyways, just wanted to say how thankful I am. Just wanted to say thank you to everybody. You're all encouragement. Uh, prayers, kind words, you know, sending positive vibes, all that good stuff. Um, just super happy, super blessed, stoked for, you know, just how good Heidi's going to feel. She's already talking about the wonderful food she's going to get to eat. She's already talking about, you know, we're talking about how we can do, you know, fun obstacle races together, 5Ks in the future, stuff like that. All these things that she wasn't able to do before. So, yeah, super excited, uh, super grateful. So, Anyways, just wanted to give you all a post on that. So, you guys have a great day. Peace.